This is uh, Arson Mechanic here, and uh, today I'm going to uh, build a, uh, a spur gear guard um, to go over here. The uh, reason why I'm doing that is because, if you look right here, you can see um, the spur gear had gotten into this wire right here, and uh, I don't want to have that happen again. So, I'm building a, a guard for it. And what I'm going to use is this uh, old piece of polycarbonate that um, I cut off of the body uh, for the 1946 Dodge. And uh, I'm just going to lay that, see if we got the right direction here, like right there, right? Now, <clears throat> I know that I may have to space this up a bit because the top part of this bird gear may eat into this right here so um, we'll see what happens uh, maybe it'll just uh, cut a groove enough and then be fine um, but we'll see okay all right so first thing I'm going to do is that since this is clear and the blade is across all these screws you just mark the center of each screw pretty much okay then I'll just drill these holes out pull these screws out and bolt it down all right so let me go do that uh, and drill those out and uh, I'll be right back I drilled these out and uh, I'm just gonna find here my knife there's one and on the inside, you can see uh, when I drilled it out, it uh, left some debris, so I'm just going to shave that a little bit. Just like so. Okay. And then uh, next, I'll just take these screws out and uh, see where we're at on that. Okay, so right now, what we got is we need to, uh, let's see, that's the direction it goes. Nope, because that was the last screw. I went that way. Okay, so <clears throat> let's just lay this over and see how we ended up. Pretty darn close. And just stick these screws through. Maybe I need to make the hole a little bit bigger. All right, hold on. Okay, so <clears throat> I've got uh, the holes big enough. I'm gonna stick these screws through like so. All right, and then the plate. Right here. Whoops. Oh yeah, I got I gotta get my orientation right. So this isn't obviously exact. I need to make at least one screw hole bigger. This is how we cover up our mistakes. Okay. It's like I'm way off on this hole right here. So let me go fix that and I'll be right back. Alright, so I drilled these holes off just a little bit, so let's hope this works now. Okay, I got three in. Four. Alright, so let's go ahead and install this on here and see how it turns out. Just lay this up here. Right up on my driver, there it is. So 
So we just lay this up here. Let's get one of these started. Kind of goes uh, along with the rule of kits where make sure everything's going to line up before you tighten everything down because something I just fabricated and you want to make sure it's going to work out. Okay, so the holes are still just a little bit off, but that's all right. As long as everything takes and it doesn't cross thread, we're fine. You know, so I'm doing this by hand, I'm not using a driver because, well, I don't want to strip anything out, the head or the screw itself. I want to make sure nothing cross threads. Okay. So, let's take a look at that. Look pretty good. I know it's green from all the pollen around here, but <clears throat> that's fine. Uh, Yeah, it looks like I need to set my mesh. It's a little too tight. It's really noisy, so let's do that while we're here. Well, that sounds so much better. It was so loud before, right? Okay. All right, so we got that in. Doesn't look like the spur gear is hitting the polycarbonate up here at all. So uh, as long as I mention that block, let's uh, let's make one of them. Put it under there. I think what I'll do on that is uh, I got some thick plastic out in the barn that I think I can stick on under there. So I'm going to go grab that and see if that'll work. So we have this piece right here. Let's turn this around so y'all can see. This one's got a little bit of a curve to it, which is cool. Is we can just slip that like wedges right in there. So, that'll keep that motor supported now, uh, where it wasn't before. We're still nice and quiet. Hopefully I've got enough tooth depth where it'll, it'll hold, not strip out this, uh, this spur gear. If I does, well, I have another one. So, anyway. So what do you think guys? Oh here, we got to fix that too, don't we? We'll fix that with, uh, so I only have green, liquid electrical tape. So I'll just put some of that on there. In this case, just a dab really will do you. There's a small area. Okay, so we let that dry. That'll protect that. So <clears throat> I've already, uh, if you watch the the waterproofing video for the ESC, I've already done that. What I the reason why it's not installed right now is because I decided to go with one more coat on the outside of uh, Flex Seal um, just to be on the safe side. I've tested it; it works, um, and it'll be up and running here in no time again. So, uh, hope you liked uh, my little fabrication ingenuity type video. I guess you call it. Um, if you did, uh, make sure to subscribe because. I got plenty more ideas like this, um, even better. So, um, give me a like click if you liked it, subscribe, uh, so you can be alerted, so you can see more, all right? So, uh, this is RC Mechanics saying, go out and have some fun with something. Have a good day.